The Australian people have spoken in their millions and they have voted overwhelmingly yes for marriage equality. They voted yes for fairness. They voted yes for commitment. They voted yes for love. And now it is up to us here in the Parliament of Australia to get on with it, to get on with the job the Australian people have tasked us to do and get this done this year before Christmas. That must be our commitment. We ask the Australian people for their view. This was an unprecedented exercise in democracy. A voluntary survey, a voluntary postal survey in which 80% participated and over 61%, 61.6% have said yes. That is an overwhelming participation rate and an overwhelming yes vote. Now I know that many people, a minority obviously, voted no. But we are a fair nation. There is nothing more Australian than a fair go. There is nothing more Australian than equality and mutual respect. And everyone has had their say. That's what we pledged at the last election. Many people stood in our way. The Labor Party, number of people on the crossbench and others. They didn't want Australians to have their say. We did. And it is a great credit to Matthias Cormann that he was able to put together this ABS postal survey, a great credit to him, a great credit to the ABS and the officers of the Australian Electoral Commission that assisted them to have this done so efficiently, so comprehensively, so emphatically. And I say to all Australians, whatever your views on this issue may be, we must respect the voice of the people. We ask them for their opinion and they have given it to us. It is unequivocal. It is overwhelming. They are our masters, we who are elected to parliament. It is our job now to get on with it. Get on with it and get this done. It's fair. The people have voted yes for marriage equality. Now it's our job to deliver it. Matthias. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Prime Minister. We went to the last election promising uh, to give the Australian people the opportunity to have their say as to whether or not the law should be changed to allow same-sex uh, couples to marry. Uh, we've delivered on that commitment. Uh, the Australian people have spoken and resolved that the law should be changed to allow same-sex uh, couples to marry. And uh, it is now incumbent on the Australian Parliament uh, to uh, act uh, on that decision, to implement that decision. Uh, as the government has said from the outset, uh, this is now going to be a matter for the Parliament. The government will facilitate consideration of a a private uh, member's bill uh, and uh, indeed uh, you know, that is of course now expected to occur. The Parliament over the next few weeks will need to determine uh, the right balance in terms of the appropriate religious uh, protections. We're very confident that that debate uh, will be able to take place constructively uh, through the Senate and through the House of Representatives and for this uh, to be resolved uh, by uh, the end of the year. Well, that is, that is certainly our goal. Certainly, we, we, our goal is to have the legislation passed through the parliament uh, before we rise for Christmas. Minister, are you fully satisfied that the Smith Bill uh, meets all of the requirements for the protection of religious freedom that uh, Senator Cormann just mentioned? Are you satisfied with the Smith Bill in its current form? And Senator Cormann, given that you brought it up, uh, are you satisfied with the Smith Bill in, the, in its current form? And can you be more specific rather than just saying religious freedom is important about what you might like out of this process over the next couple of weeks in order, in order to meet your concerns? Well, can I just say that the, the Smith Bill does... Well, it, it's called the Smith Bill, and with all uh, credit and to and affection for Senator Smith, it is, of course, uh, it came out of a Senate committee. As you know, last year the uh, Attorney-General uh, produced an exposure draft of a draft bill to legalise same-sex marriage uh, for consultation. Uh, it was considered by a Senate committee, uh, which made a number of suggestions and proposals. Uh, many of those were taken up in this bill uh, that is, it is really a, a collective work. But the important point is, Catherine, 
that, uh, yes, it does provide uh, it, it protections for religious bodies and uh, ministers of religion, for example, uh, you know, can't be obliged to marry people that they, uh, that they don't want to marry. Uh, that's, that is, that, that's all right and proper the, and broadly accepted. But, you know, this is a free vote. It's very important to remember what I promised at the election. My commitment was to give every Australian their say. That has been done. They have spoken. And they've said overwhelmingly, yes, that the law should be changed to allow same-sex couples to marry. So it's our job to do that. Now, it's, it is also a free vote. And that means that members of the coalition can vote on the bill, which, whichever way they, their conscience tells them to vote, and on amendments. And they can move whatever amendments they wish. And there will no doubt be a very lively debate, and there will be amendments will be put up. Some will no doubt get accepted, others will not. That's in the nature of debate. But it is a free vote. Uh, and that is the, that's the commitment we made at the election. We are sticking scrupulously to the promises we made at the election. Uh, obviously, I mean, I'm on the public record as saying that I believe the Smith Bill uh, is a good starting point, and indeed uh, a number of senators uh, have given notice that uh, they will seek to introduce uh, the Smith Bill into the Senate uh, this afternoon. I do believe uh, that there is a need for uh, some additional uh, religious protections. I'm not going to go into the specifics today. That's going to be a matter uh, for the debate over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, what would happen this week if the motion that was uh, given notice of in the Senate uh, were to pass the Senate uh, later today is that tomorrow uh, the Senate would start uh, the second reading debate. Uh, the uh, debate will not go beyond the second reading uh, debate tomorrow on the terms of the motion that was moved and the uh, debate on amendments, the debate uh, in the committee stages of uh, the uh, bill uh, will only take place in the week of the 27th of November. So I believe that this is now an opportunity for uh, senators of goodwill from uh, all sides of this debate to engage with each other, uh, to explore uh, opportunities for common ground. Uh, I uh, have noted that in recent weeks uh, senior members of parliament from across the political divide uh, have expressed their support for appropriate uh, levels of religious protections as part of this uh, marriage law reform and uh, I will participate uh, in these conversations along with everybody else. I will participate in the debate uh, and uh, I will make my final judgments uh, based on those discussions as the uh, legislation progresses through the parliament. What would your message be to conservative colleagues that are now looking to drag their feet and filibuster on this debate to push it well into the new year? Well, I, d I don't accept your premise, but I, uh, at all, but uh, I am uh, I, I'm always uh, able and, and do meet with colleagues from all sides of the debate on this issue uh, to talk about their concerns and, I, and, and their is whatever proposed amendments they have. So I'm very happy to discuss those uh, with them. Uh, I've relig you know, protecting religious freedom and freedom of speech is very important. But equally, uh, you know, we are we are a, the nation of the fair go and mutual respect, and we treat people equally. We don't discriminate against people because of their gender or their, their sexual orientation, their religion or their race or the colour of their skin. So we are the nation of the fair go. That's why we're the most successful multicultural society in the world, admired, I might say, throughout the world for precisely that. So we should cherish that. But clearly, freedom of speech, freedom of religion are also enormously, these are core values, for core Australian values as well. So I look forward to talking further with my colleagues. I do that all the time. That's uh, part of my job as PM. Prime Minister, we've heard a lot about the, I guess, the benefits of the, as we're calling it, the Smith Bill. There is the other bill that's been uh, presented, or at least uh, drafted, by another Liberal Senator, James Patterson. What are the shortcomings in, in that bill? Does it go too far? To be honest with you, the, the, uh, the bill that James Patterson has given notice of, uh, I was only advised of, of its existence uh, on Monday uh, when I was overseas, as you all know. So I haven't had the opportunity to read through it carefully. I, I look forward to catching up with James shortly. The, the, uh, the, you know, the virtue of uh, the Smith bill uh, as we'll call it, is that it has been around for quite a long time, for months, months and months. So it's, I think it was, uh, 
It was uh, first published or released in August, so quite some time ago. So it, is, it, 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 serves, it can serve the purpose as being the first draft. I mean, again, it's very important to understand the process here. Uh, this is a free vote. We committed to a free vote. And so members can move whatever bills they like. It's up to the Senate uh, as to which bill takes precedence or priority. But the Smith bill does have the virtue of being well understood, well read. Uh, people know what's in it and they know what its virtues are, if you like, it's what, it's, you know, what the, the good things in it are, and if they've got problems with it, they can move amendments to correct its defects. That's, that's the process. I might, I might just, I just, uh, what the government has, of course, said right from the outset when we initiated uh, this uh, marriage law postal survey process is that uh, the government would facilitate consideration of a private member's bill, uh, which private member's bill uh, is considered and in, in what form it ultimately passes the parliament is entirely a matter for the parliament. Uh, so uh, there are a number of, uh, there, there are two bills that have been put forward. I believe that there is majority support in the Senate for the Smith bill uh, to be the starting point. Uh, personally, I believe that the Smith bill will need some improvements. Uh, personally, I believe that the partisan bill goes somewhat too far. Uh, I'd like to think that the parliament uh, will be able to meet somewhere in between uh, to uh, give effect to the decision of the Australian people, to act in good faith and uh, give effect to the decisive uh, decision of the Australian people, but to also uh, ensure uh, that we uh, accommodate uh, the legitimate concern of many Australians for there to be appropriate levels of religious protections. Well, as I've said in response to the previous questions, I'm not going to go into the specifics today, uh, but I will be participating in the debate uh, privately and publicly over the next few weeks. And uh, I think that today uh, what we have is a result of the marriage law postal survey. What we have today is a direction from the Australian people for the parliament to act, to uh, give effect uh, to their uh, wishes in relation to this. And I think it is now up to the parliament over the next few weeks uh, to uh, do its work and for uh, people of goodwill from all sides of this argument to come together and seek consensus. Prime Minister, do you, do you, think, do you want think that improvements are required? Is the law inadequate to deal with this result? Uh, Mark, the, uh, just echo what uh, Matthias said. The, uh, the Smith Bill is, has the advantage, just before you arrived we were talking about it, uh, the Smith Bill has the advantage of um, having been around for some months now, everyone's familiar with it, it has a uh, wide degree of support. Uh, in the, across, you know, across the chambers, um, and, but of course there's the opportunity to move amendments to it and improve it. Uh, so the, uh, we'll, uh, I'll, we'll obviously, Matthias and I and other members and senators will examine amendments that are proposed on their merits, but it is a free vote. That's the, that is the critically important thing. And so you, you will see, you'll very likely see members of the coalition and indeed members of the Labor Party taking different views on one amendment or another, and uh, as I was saying in Manila with you just uh, just yesterday, uh, this is uh, this will be Parliament at its best. You'll see people speaking from the heart, uh, expressing their personal views, not being dictated to or directed by by uh, party bosses or whips or anything like that. Uh, and I think you'll you will get a you'll get a will get a great outcome that will balance all of those uh, values: freedom of religion, freedom of speech equality, mutual respect and, above all, respecting the will of the Australian people. That's what we promised. We said we would give every Australian their say, and we did. Many people tried to stop us. Bill Shorten, prominent amongst them. He didn't want Australians to have their say, but thanks to the ABS survey and Matthias's very uh, skillful management of this process, every Australian had their say. 80% of them uh, chose to vote, and as we know, 61.6% of them said yes. That is an overwhelming result. And so, you know, the message is clear. Australians have voted yes to marriage equality, to allowing, to changing the law to allow same-sex couples to marry, and what they want us to do is to get on with it and get it done. Thank you all very much. <laughs>